Yeah, it's not time for newspaper review. I'm Winston Amwa, and we have some papers in this morning. Of course, we're looking at the headlines of the papers, and then we get into uh, the discussions with my panelists who have joined me this morning. I'll introduce them after the headlines. And talking about the headlines, starting off with the Ghanaian Times, it talks about um, Ghana Health Service uncovers rot. Internal auditor implicated in embezzlement of millions of cities. Uh, we'll look at that story. And lab results on strange disease are determined to be ready Wednesday. Veterinary service. Government to reclaim encroached state lands. And men's gold customers expected in court. Now, the back page, yes. Uh, Accra had so folk. Uh, finally, they got to win over the weekend. Uh, uh, so, had celebrate first win. Uh, sadly, as uh, Kotoko lost. And his horror at uh, Babayara Stadium as fan is feared dead. And Chelsea Stan Kotoko in Kumasi. The Daily Guide for today says, please probe Kumasi killer's injury and NDC boys burn tires over uh, voters register. We'll get into uh, that particular demonstration. And Ghana Techie sign deal, UCC contractor clears uh, and GES interdicts teacher rapist, the rapist is in quote, and first guy to build kidney transplant center. Back page, Hearts win at last, and that captures it very well. Uh, Chelsea Stan Kotoko and Jordan Ayu passed his brother, Andre, to become second highest Ghanaian scorer in Premier League. And let's keep the momentum uh, also on the back page of the Ghanaian, uh, of the Daily Guide. Now, the finder for today says, don't compromise national ID data. President Akufuado cautions stakeholders and Dr. Wal Jogati are best performing ministers for 2019, according to a survey, and will stay focused despite your cartel label. That's Coco Board CEO. And NDC, other parties demonstrate against new voters register. And um, the Business Journal talks about create favorable uh, conditions for local entrepreneurs to attract more investors. Uh, Rider Steel MD urges government. And tourism contribution to GDP hits $1.9 dollars. So uh, let's introduce our guest for this morning. And to my immediate left is Pius Enam Hajideh, who is uh, Deputy Information Minister. Thank you very much for joining us, Pius. And Sami Jemfi is National Communication Officer for the NDC. Gentlemen, good morning and uh, thank you very much for joining us. I hope all of you are doing well. We are doing great. Let me start off with you, Sami Jemfi, because uh, the papers capture it. Um, over the weekend, you were in um, Tamale to start a series of demonstrations. Uh, some have said, well, you know, why don't you engage the Electoral Commission. People have said the Electoral Commission should engage further. Why won't those who are against the, uh, you know, the compilation of a new register engage them rather than resorting to demonstrations? Thank you very much. And uh, let me say good morning to my brother Pius, yourself, and our cherished viewers. And start by commending the good people of the North, mm. especially the people of Tamale, for their massive and historic turnout at the just-ended Tukusai demonstration of the inter-party resistance against the new register. That demonstration was indeed historic. It was mammoth. And uh, let me also commend all the participating political parties, the PNC, the UPP, the UFP, the Eagle Party, the PPP, the CPP, the NDC, and all stakeholders who made this demonstration a success. Like you rightly indicated, this is only the first of the series of protest actions that we will be mounting to you know, block this needless attempt by the Electoral Commission to introduce a new register, which we believe will undermine the democracy of Ghana. And together with the thousands, the several thousands of people who poured on the streets of Tamale on Saturday, I believe we sent a clear signal to President Ekufuado and the Jimensa Bosmanasari Electoral Commission that enough is enough. We will not allow a few people to toy with the democracy of this country. We will not allow a few people to plunge this country into chaos. We will not allow a few people to plunder the resources of states on a needless and useless voters register. We will not allow anybody to waste the public purse on something the country does not need. You asked why we are not engaging the Electoral Commission. The contrary is, 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 is true. We are engaging them, we've been engaging them, we are attending IPAC meetings. The problem, however, is that the current Electoral Commission we have is not ready to listen. How? They 
How are have, they ready to listen? Because they've taken an entrenched position that they will compile a new register at all costs. And that is why, uh, on countless occasions, they have asserted their independence and has, have indicated that not part of the they amendment. are not bound. Can't they, can't they, they say, they we can, want they, to compile they, they a new They cannot do that, and I will explain to okay, you why ahead. they cannot do that. But even before I deal with the issue of the lack of stakeholder consultations, which has characterized this new attempt by the EC to compile a new register, let me explain to you the, our reasons for opposing this idea, our reasons for the Tokosai demonstration and the Yentiasia demonstration, which will be coming off in Kumase on the 21st of January, 2020. You see, it is said that when it is not broken, when something is not broken, you don't fix it. The current register we have is by far the cleanest and the most credible register Ghana has ever had. If there has ever been a period in the history of Ghana when this country has had a credible register, it is now. And so it, is, it, it beats our imagination. What parameters that are you easy, using to judge to say this is the most credible? I'm coming there. That the, EC, that the EC would want to throw this credible register away for a new one which they themselves cannot vouch for its credibility. You see, before the just ended district assembly election, the EC had a press conference. The chairpersons who addressed that press conference were asked whether or not the current register which was used for that election was credible. They answered in the affirmative. But overstretched. What does it mean to say an, I, 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 an electoral register is overstretched? That is a figment of their own imagination. It doesn't exist in any election dictionary. It is their own creation. But at least they, they themselves attested to the fact that the current register is credible. Now, we need to also appreciate the rationale behind the introduction of the, the register we have now. You know, before 2012, the register Ghana used to have only had the names and photos of voters. We had no means of checking impersonation, multiple registration, multiple voting. We had no means of dealing with the problem associated with the bloating of the register by dead names and so on. And so in 2010-2011, the NPP and their surrogate groups, like the Dankwa Institute, advocated for the introduction of a biometric register. Their argument at the time was that because every human being created by God has a unique biodata, it would be impossible for people to impersonate. Multiple registration, multiple voting will be a turn of the past and we'll be able to deal with the problem associated with the bloating of the register as a result of you know, dead names because no one can use the biodata of a dead person to vote. And so we will be able to end the culture at the time, the 10-year cycle of always replacing, spending millions of money on replacing the register and have a permanent register which will, have, which will be updated through continuous registration and limited registration. That was the rationale. So we spent millions on that. Since then, we have used the register for two general elections, which has produced two precedents. John Mahama in 2012, President Akufuado in 2016, with no contestation about the credibility of the register. We have used it for two assembly elections in 2015 and 2019. We have used it for one referendum in 2018 for the creation of new regions. The best, the worst performance of the system, the current system, was recorded in 2012 when the system was new and when we were barely adapting to the system. We had not trained people enough and so in 2012, you remember, election had to be postponed and all that. The best ever performance to have been recorded by the system was in 2019, during the just-ended district assembly elections, where 5.4 million Ghanaians successfully went through the biometric process and voted, 5.4 million Ghanaians. And only 34,000 Ghanaians were unable to go through the biometric process, which therefore means that we recorded a performance rate of 99.4% and an error rate of 0.6%, mm. making it one of the world's most credible systems. Because currently, 
the country which is reputed for its credible, you know, electoral system is India because they combine iris and, you know, uh, uh, um, fingerprint authentication. And even then, they have an error rate of 4%. And so if only in 2019, we could conduct elections in over 29 polling stations, elect over 6,000 assembly members, and over 35,000 unit committee members using the current system, and achieve a success rate of 99.4%. Why throw away this register? Only last year, between the 7th of June and the 17th of July, in a matter of 20 days when we had our limited registration process, we were able to successfully register 1.2 million Ghanaians who went through deduplication. The process went through, okay. uh, carried out deduplication. Um, we produce a provisional register, we produce <clears throat> a, a final register. You're wrapping so up for me. Yes. Oh, please. Not because he, he, he alerted you. I mean, we have ample time, so allow me to no. deal the point because I'm going somewhere. I'll, I'll no, I will do so. I will, yes. I will yes. do so. So, the point I am making is that this register is so clean, it is so efficient. The EC themselves have attested to that there is no problem with it. It is performing better now. It is not obsolete based on the evidence available to us. And so there is no reason why we must waste billions on changing it. And assuming without admitting that it is even obsolete, as the EC would want us to believe, they themselves have agreed that the system is upgradable. They themselves, per data contained in their last press statement, have admitted that it is cheaper it is cheaper to upgrade the system than to procure a new system. To upgrade which system? The current system we have. Because, I mean, for the which data runs. center, for instance, mm -hmm. it would cost them $15 million to upgrade. Hold on. Check, okay. check the text. Because of time, I can't read it. But mm -hmm. check the text of their last press statement. The EC says that it spent 2 million Ghana cities yes. on refurbishing 80,000 BVDs mm -hmm. and 1,600 BVRs. Yes. 80,000 BVDs at 2 million Ghana cities. That's a refurbishment. And yet, they are projecting to buy, under this new system they are seeking to introduce, 80,000 new BVDs at 199 million. So, whereas it costs 2 million Ghana cities to refurbish <coughs> only 80,000 pieces of the B BVD machines under the current system, they are projecting to spend 199 on the new system, it, the same quantity, 80,000. Meaning that it is cheaper to refurbish or to upgrade the current system. And they themselves have agreed to that. Now, there is also the fundamental issue of time. That assuming without admitting, granted that all they are saying is true, it is too late in the day for us to commence the process of compiling in, in, in 2012, register. I mean, I registered in April. It is okay. a f you see, that is a fallacy. That is what a half-truth. And I'll tell you why, why, why is that a half it is a half-truth. Not that is not coming from you. Okay. That is the making of the Electoral Commission and people who... No, but I registered like in April. I will explain that to you. Yes, so... In 2012, the contract, I mean, the procurement process has commenced in the middle of 2011. We got a vendor. A vendor was selected. A contract was signed in November 2011. Training commenced in 2011. It was only the registration aspect of the process which took place in 2012. Exactly. Let me show you the difference now. As we speak, we are in 2012, uh, 2020, January, an election year. They are not done with the procurement process. They do not have a system. They do not have a software. They do not have a vendor. They have not signed a contract. They need to do all that before okay. they conduct registration do deduplication, do voter exhibition, and then train political parties for the political parties to also train their polling agents. Let me get to You bias. cannot do that in a period of 10 months. You are going to plant this country into chaos. So together mm -hmm. with the issue of time, and finally the issue of cost, the issue of cost, which we contend is a misplaced priority. Because when you bias. don't have any problem with the current system, why waste close to a billion on such a useless exercise when majority of our people okay. are going through you. excruciating pain, excruciating Thank you. poverty. We are coming from Tamale. They Thank you very much. Let me, about get to, jobs. let me get to Pius. You know, yes. the roads are bad and all mm -hmm. that. We cannot be doing Thank that. Thank you very so, much, Sami. It is very important that the easy Sammy. listings so, because please, this democracy you. is all we have. Thank you. Thank you. Let me get to you, Pius. Well, thank you very much, Winston, and uh, let me also begin by uh, associating with my colleagues, uh, Sami Jemfi, in uh, saying a very good morning to you yourself, himself, and our cherished viewers. And let me state from the very onset that I do not purport to speak for the Electoral Commission. 
Uh, nobody can do that. But I am greatly appalled at the attempt from uh, the NDC and its allies and previous to want to stampede a constitutionally independent body into towing their line. And I think that this is a matter that should be of grave concern to all well-meaning Ghanaians, that we should stop political players and stakeholders, especially interested parties, in attempting to determine how the Electoral Commission to, should conduct their business. This is akin to saying that because we can mobilize on elections day or after the elections, we can actually force the hand of the Electoral Commission to declare in one, one direction or the other. And we should stand up strongly to resist what is an oppression. But let my of, vote count, of, 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 of which of, the NPP supported. I mean, pushing the EC to compile any voters register in 2016. Exactly, I was coming to that. Yes, go ahead. The position, mm -hmm. the position should be, and has been, and must always be, that you explain yourself to the best of your abilities, but to insist that that is what must happen, I find problematic. And that appears to be the position of the NDC, that they have to get a new voters register at all costs. You speak about the let my vote count. At the end of the day, they let my vote count, canvassed all they could, they agitated all they could. At the end of the day, they still allowed the Electoral Commission to take its own decision and run its own course. And that is what the history teaches us. In fact, former President Mr. Mahama is on record to have said that let us allow people to uh, uh, canvass their positions, but we should not attempt to stampede the Electoral Commission into towing a particular line because we desire that, that part uh, 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 to be towed. And so the NDC must get it straight from the very beginning that, yes, they can make all the noise that they intend to make, they can canvas all they want, but they cannot, in their wildest of imaginations, think that they can insist that because they think this is what should happen, that is what must happen. At the end of the day, that constitutional mandate is not imposed on the NDC or any political party for that matter. Because Winston, why? When the elections goes wrong uh, in December of 2020, God forbid, nobody is going to hold the NDC responsible. We are all going to hold the Electoral Commission responsible. And so they must have a free hand to do what they believe is right. Now, there are a few issues. My brother speaks about entrenched positions. Well, what is the NDC doing? It is... In fact, it is an expression of an entrenched manifestation of an entrenched position to even accuse your other party of adapting an entrenched position. You are not listening to the other party because you claim they are entrenched, but you are not amending your position either. So you also have taken an entrenched position. And so if there were the argument of entrenched position, then I will also encourage the NDC to begin to move towards the center. Again, I find the attitude... And what's the center? Uh, the, the, is to sit down and talk. And, and to see reason here and there, and I'll come to a few of the reasons. Mm. Mind you, I say that I am not a PR for the Electoral Commission, but I am also a concerned Ghanaian, I'm a voter, and I also know that the Electoral Commission has publicly announced that they have come to this decision because of technical advice from their technical uh, experts and consultants that they work with. Shouldn't we be worried that Technic, the experts, the people, in, in fact, including the vendors of the uh, uh, equipments that we are talking about, the vendors, the STL, have written to the Electoral Commission and said that the, the, the equipments that they are using are end of life, including laptops, and that the Electoral Commission will be taking a very huge risk by attempting to rely on that machinery. Shouldn't that be a matter of concern for the Electoral Commission? Sure, it should be. And so there is every basis for me. If I were a, an electoral officer or, or a commissioner or working there, I would always be worried that the technical people have advised that the equipment is end of life. Again, the issue of, and we know, the cycles. You check how we have done registrations in this country. After every two elections, my recollection is that we do a new register. So we are at the end of the cycle again. So this is nothing new. That is what the history is. Again, they say that the cost. Now, the Electoral Commission has argued, and you pointed that out, that they have done the figures, they have done the calculation. The cost of refurbishing 
They, they, Sami is saying that that's an option. You can refurbish uh, the old, assuming it is absolute. Indeed, it's not a question of assuming. The technical people advising the Electoral Commission have said that the machine is end of life. And you're saying that, well, then refurbish it. But the Electoral Commission is saying to you that we are going to be using uh, essentially about the same amount of money mm. refurbishing as compared to getting new equipment with added functional, uh, functionality. He speaks about the in, uh, India uh, example uh, with such eloquence. In India, apart from the biometrics, there is iris verification. So Ghana, the Electoral Commission is saying that they are adding another layer to the verification, which is facial recognition. So if uh, you were the Electoral Commissioner, or for the several millions of meaningful Ghanaians who are watching us this morning, you are going to spend the same amount of money to refurbish the, this old machine, which in their estimation can still work if we refurbish it. But the same amount can give you brand new machines with added functionality. What, what wise decision, what decision will any wise person make? It would definitely be, definitely be to go for the new machine with added functionality. And so that's what the Electoral Commission has done, so that we can begin to get to, to the, the, play, the Indians and so on and so forth. But why do people think that we can always play second fiddle? That when an African country, or Ghana for that matter, or when we are second to some country, or we are third or fourth to some country, oh, that is fine, for as long as we are not the very last on the bottom. We can be the number one. So if India is doing something, and that we can even do the same as India is doing, or even pass India, why shouldn't we do, why shouldn't we do the same? But who says that? He talks about uh, there is poverty, uh, there is hunger, and so on and so forth. But who says there's no poverty or hunger in, 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 in India? In fact, it is recorded that poverty is higher in India than even in Ghana. Today, under the able leadership of His Excellency Nana Dodan Kwakufado, this economy is performing better than the, 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 the economy of India. And the records are clear. So we can do even better. Now, another issue of worry. The Electoral Commission says that manual verification, if you, they did the, the trend analysis, manual verification is increasing. A failure of the, uh, the devices as far as the verification is concerned, the bio-verification is concerned. In the last election, they have, they have, inc they have noted an increase in the, the percentage of the, the manual verifications. And we have, we, still, we have seen in this country political parties lose by marginal votes. In 2012, for instance, we had to do even a third round. Very marginally. So we don't want a situation where somebody will lose. In fact, I know that the 2020 election, that will not happen because we are going to beat the NDC to pump. But in any case, we will have to set the systems and the laws that can stand the test of time. And so if the Electoral Commission is saying that because of how tight elections can get, let us not have situations where we will rely on manual verification so that when the margins are that close, somebody will argue that, oh, it is because people were not uh, 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 technically verified and they had to go to the manual one and so on and so forth. That is why the elections. And so I feel that we should listen to the wisdom in what the, uh, the Electoral Commission is saying. In any case, my brother speaks about uh, demonstration. It is your right. Yes, you pulled some numbers. But, Sami, I mean, don't tickle yourself in love. I have seen politicians, not one politician, one political party, pull greater numbers than that in Tamale. Sure. I have seen, I, I have seen, no, it's not the time I've been watching. No, oh, no, you spoke, spoke more. Oh, you spoke I, more. No, no, Sami, please like don't. Um, no, but Sammy, please. If you want, I could give you that minutes, all of you. No, no yes. So let's go, yeah, let me wrap up, yes. Okay. Even musicians in Tamale and elsewhere have pulled greater numbers. So the question of numbers for me, the optics may be good, but it is a, a very essentially irrelevant to the discussion. Raise the issues. But I, I find one thing done by this Electoral Commission very commendable. This commission has proven and shown that they are prepared and willing to engage. Check the numbers of IPAC meetings that they have had within okay. this short time okay. that the, uh, uh, that this electoral brother. committee... Please, let's be fair to the time. We no, we're, we're being no, 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 I'll check. I'll and you know I'm that being, I indicated I to you the very time. Fair no, you are not. You are not. You are not. I am. You are not. Sami spoke for 10 minutes. You've spoken for 10 minutes. I think it's fair. Thank we, you. We give him a chance uh, to react. Thank you very much. For two minutes, and I'll get back to you. I am happy that you've invited us to interrogate the issues based on facts. Because some of the arguments my brother have made here are factually flawed. He says that the EC argues that the rate of manual verification 
is on the ascendancy, hence the need for a new register. That assertion is not borne out by the facts. Because as I've demonstrated to you, in the just ended district assembly elections, 5.4 million Ghanaians were able to vote successfully through the biometric process. Only 34,823 voters were That's unable really. to be biometrically yeah. verified. And so if you do the percentage, I didn't heckle you once, Pius. No, you did. You I didn't did. heckle you, did. you did. once no, you to allow me to talk. <laughs> allow to so yes. that gives you a success rate of 99.4%, which is an, the, the, the envy of the world. Not even India, which you reference, can boost of that because they have an error rate of 4%. And so 0.6%, in any case, Please, in any know. case, in Ghana, those who have a challenge because of the menial jobs they are engaged in, they have a challenge with their bio data and all that, have been marked in the voter register as face only voters. We already have their names and their photographs. Mm -hmm. And so the experts have explained that mm -hmm. it is very easy for us to adopt a facial authentication system without necessarily taking their photographs photographs again or compiling a new register. You talk about India. When India Not was adopting an iris authentication system in addition to the fingerprint biometric system, did they compile a new register? At the DC. They didn't. Because they already had the data of these people. So that argument you are making is patently flawed. That is number one. Then number two, you talk about cost. I have demonstrated to you, my brother, check the last press conference by the EC. How can the EC tell us, because we are all discerning minds, how can you tell us that you spent 2 million Ghana cities in refurbishing 80,000 BVDs and you are projecting to buy new BVDs under this new system you are seeking to introduce, 80 pieces of that, at 199 million? But and I you mean, tell in, me, in that same press that conference, common sense. The, the EC talked about how they've been advised by STL. Hold on. They were advised in November. Where is the advice? That where is the said hold advice? On, hold on, I'm giving you what the EC pointed <laughs> yes, out. Yes, you're right. Yeah, and that, and that is why this question yes. is not to you, yeah. but to the EC. Mm -hmm. We must ask the EC, where is the advice? You doubt the EC? You, we are not saying we doubt them. Our electoral system runs on transparency and stakeholder participation. That is what the practice has been since 1992. And that is why we have gotten this far. And so if you are saying that you have this expert advice on the basis of which you think you must compile a new register, why haven't you shared that advice with IPAC? Is the advice a confidential CIA if shared, report? Would you support it then? Nothing like that exists because we have also spoken to XCL. There is nothing like that. In fact, what so you are even talking about defies common sense. So the that you will tell us that the cost of upgrading a system is more expensive than procure, uh, procuring a new one. They don't have it. If they had it, they would have shared it by now. So that is another so point. So lying when it comes exactly. to Exactly. Then he makes the point that we've always had a cycle of changing uh, our voters' register. Every, please, let I'm me make fine. my point. Let, let I am, yes. I'm making, you know, points. Allow me to make my point. We, we have, we've had the practice of changing voters' register after every, you know, two elections. And so what? Those registers, were they biometric registers? What was the rationale for introducing this biometric register? It was to end that cycle. In fact, that was your argument. You people are so inconsistent. You people have advocated for a biometric register so that we could end that cycle and ensure financial prudence so that we will not waste money every 10 years, every 8 years in introducing a new register. So if you have a biometric register, which is clean, mm -hmm. why change it? And then let me make this finally, point. Yes. I'm coming, not finally. No, because last I'm, but I'm one. giving you five minutes. Please, last but so one. you have one minute so that I you get see, back to Pius. The <laughs> problem with Pius Hajide mm -hmm. and his MPP brothers is what I always talk about, the issue, the problem of hypocrisy. What he just demonstrated here, exhibited here, is hypocrisy at its apogee. They have no regard for principle. They have no regard for standards. You, a member of the New Patriotic Party, today you have a problem with opposition parties demonstrating peacefully in accordance with law to drum home their point, their position, that they don't need a new register. Okay. You reminded him of the Let My Vote Count coalition. You reminded him of the several fora, the several, the several mass actions with the new patriotic party organized. You insulted Charlotte or said, called her names, insulted her because she was a woman. Okay. You, you this, undermined this, people this in this country. Note, we have not done that. We, no, hold on. On that note, uh, hold on, hold on. Uh, 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 allow, allow me to just conclude. The allow me to conclude. Conclusion I get to Pius. We have not done 1% of what they did to Charlotte. Can you imagine? We are 
only making our case. Thank you. We have adduced cogent mm -hmm. reasons. Thank you very much. Why we think Ghana doesn't need a, a me, new register? We've spoken about the lack of time. We've spoken about Sorry, funding Jason. challenges. Thank you very much. We have spoken about the fact that this current register it is, is not broken. Hence, there is Let no need, to need to for us Let to fix it. Yes, Address the issues I've raised. How does that amount to stampeding the electoral commission? I am scandalized now. The argument of the NDC is that the MPP did something and we are doing something. Have I said that? I didn't no, you say said that. that. I'm saying that you have no oh, right. No, you said that. If, 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 if less my vote comes, I, 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 I could demonstrate. I'll come in, I'll come in and repeat and what you said. For the compilation of a new register. And that did not amount to stampeding the electoral commission. Can you please? No, please, you are being mischievous and you should stop that. Because you are advising something to me that I have not said. And so I have every right to correct you that I didn't say that. And it's drawing your attention to that. Go ahead. Yes, I am. You can never be our masses. We don't copy for you. I am scandalized. These are the issues that the people of Ghana are invited to. You think you have the right to demonstrate, oh, and people don't have the right to demonstrate. He allowed you to. Do speak. You know the number of demonstrations President Tekufuado has done. He allowed in, the, in you his to speak. He allowed you to speak, as you wanted. Ever heard of Kumi so, Allow him now. Go ahead, Pius. I mean, these are the issues that the good people of Ghana are being invited to interrogate. That some electoral commissioner allegedly was insulted and abused, and the numbers of demonstrations. So we are in a competition I'm to catch out your hypocrisy. Can you, to you. can you be? Sammy, please, can you control I'm yourself? I'm only pointing out your hypocrisy. No, no, what is allow this? Him. Yes, Pius, go ahead. This unruly behavior is what we, the people what of Ghana, this, what you are doing is unruly. Yeah, yeah. And you see, allow him. yes, go ahead. I address have, I, the I, I, and stop I, spewing lies because you are ascribing things. Sammy, I'm Sammy, not no problem. You let him talk. Yes, go ahead, Pius. No problem. Well, the people of Ghana are watching. And they have a choice to make. And that is why I have said in the beginning that demonstrations are people's rights. I even commented on the numbers and said that musicians have pulled even bigger numbers. So they shouldn't tickle themselves and laugh. So I have not said anywhere that the NDC cannot demonstrate. They can demonstrate as, as many times as they want. It helps them to, <laughs> for some of them to bend the fast that they acquired uh, all these years. So that is fine. I don't have a problem at all. But I feel also that some of the recklessness that we saw in the demonstration must be pointed out. Putting the lives of the demonstrators at risk and the lives of the good people of Tamale at risk. What was the need for burning of ties and all of that? Did you have to do that? And so those are some of the recklessness that we can point out. But beyond that, for me, the NDC can demonstrate every day. But they must understand that that does not mean that they will insist that because we want it so, so must it be. That authority is not vested in them. They do not have that power. And that's why we should all be worried. You have listened to the tapes of, of leading members of the NDC. For instance, their director of elections. Who says that this country must be made ungovernable? And that he has gone to study some tricks. He says uh, he was going to protest. That, that he, he has gone to learn some tricks in Nigeria. And so I have listened to the tape. I have listened to the tape. I have listened to it also. Yes, I have spoken to him on it and he yes, admitted it. That one. That he didn't say and that. He said it is him. He said that. Yes. And that's what I'm saying that we should be. he's going to demonstrate. But I'm saying that. No, no, no. I'm saying I have listened. To, that, I'm saying that I the, people, to the people of Ghana must be worried about the whole idea but and the whole agenda that the whole agenda of the NDC <laughs> to make the system ungovernable and, 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 and throw this country into chaos. But we will not allow it. For as long as you operate within the laws, no, no problem. But burning of ties and all of those, that is an, it is a recklessness that we must point out. But the point again for me is that I have said here that whatever arguments that you think you have. Why? In 2012, when the MPP was making... The, the, the case for register. What was the position of the NDC? And say, if, if a change in position means that you are uh, not principled and so on and so forth. Just recently, Sami Jemfi, you are on record to have said that when you change your, your, your position about the referendum, you said that people are free to change their positions. So assuming without admitting, now you are even making arguments for the MPP, the MPP never made. I don't recall some of the arguments you are, you are claiming. But assuming without admitting, you are not involved in the thick of affairs. Yeah, well, you may yes. say that. You may yeah, say that. I don't want to get into those trivialities as to between me and you who has been more active on the, on the political space. So it's a, <laughs> ask Winston here, yeah, I think that you cannot argue that, but that is no, a is that even, I think it's no, a trivial. No, 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 I'm, I'm, so, oh, I'm, I'm checking a can I come in? No, you don't come in so, on so, this issue. We're moving so, ahead. So, for me, oh, I will just make it for me, me, for me, I'll give you an honest for me, your time for that. For me, yes, the electoral commission is the authority that we have to listen to. Sami thinks he sits here and accuses the electoral commission of lying, says several things without providing the proof. He sits on TV and he's calling the National Electoral Commission of Ghana that they are peddling falsehood. He said that. For, you see, Winston, for me, let everybody who wants to have a, a say on this matter have their say. 
The numbers, he speaks about some numbers, but there are more political parties in this country that support the, 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 the compilation of a new voter. Okay, sure. The last time uh, the, the people, no, the we political parties so that was the, the, the register Let's came go. together, I, I, we I got about one. about and 13 political one. parties. Okay, no. thank that's you. more. Sure. Thank you. Um, sure. Let's, let's get to other issues. Uh, okay. Let's get to the Ghana Health Service because okay. some rot has been uncovered. We're told sure. that internal auditor has been implicated mm -hmm. in embezzlement of millions of cities. And if you read a story at the center spread of the, uh, you know, Ghanaian Times, he's been he was asked to proceed on resign, and he has resigned. But the question is, if someone embezzles funds. There's a resignation as an item of what he did. Why shouldn't we be prosecuting these persons as a way of serving as deterrence to others who might want to engage it, Sammy? Well, I, sure. Um, the first thing I wanted to uh, just clarify before I come to this. Yes, you have five topic, minutes. Sure. Is that when we create the impression that it is only the NDC which is opposing this idea to compile a new register, it is not fair to the facts because. PNC is part of this um, uh, PNC resistance. Is divided. The PNC is part. <laughs> the UPP is part. The Eagle Party is part. The UFP is part. At Tamale, we had representatives from the PPP. We had representatives from the CPP and so on. So we are not talking about just one political party. The CDD <laughs> have shared our sentiments. They've corroborated our concerns about time, the lack of time. Gabi Ochredako, a member of your party, cousin of President, nephew of President Kufuado has admitted that the issue of time constraints has not been well explained by the Electoral Commission. Imani is against the compilation of a new register. And so, Pius, you cannot know better than all these people. You cannot put all of us together and brand us as a group of nation records and all that. Be fair to us. Then you put that aside. Five minutes. It is, it is preposterous for anybody to support the allocation of over 823 million Ghana cities for the compilation of a new register. That's, Which that's has, 443 million. That is for the system. When no, you add the register, the, you, the, uh, all, all the other bits. I mean, the Electoral Commission was giving I mean, due to one, time billion, constraints, I one billion sixty million yes. for the year mm -hmm. in its conduct of the mm -hmm. general elections mm -hmm. and the compilation mm -hmm. of a new register. The compilation of mm -hmm. a new register, as approved by Parliament, is 443. 444. Mm -hmm. And I will show you, <laughs> when we finish this program, I can show you new documentation. We show <laughs> that the figure is around 823. <laughs> but even without 444 figure you have quoted, mm -hmm. What they have allocated as per diem for the administrative staff of the EC alone is an amount of 28 million Ghana cities, which is equivalent to 280 billion. It's only mm -hmm. the likes of Payos Hajide who will defend something. So let's get to the Ghana Health Service. So let's, 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 let's get to this issue. Mm -hmm. You know, <laughs> this case typify the wholesale corruption which has engulfed the Kufuado government. Today, corruption has become a very cheap commodity and a very attractive venture in Ghana. Because the president who is at the helm of affairs, who promised to protect the public purse, who promised not to tolerate corruption, has himself become the chief clearing agent for corruption. Has his, himself become the most corrupt official in this government. To the extent that he clears those who engages in corruption, like Payos Ajide, to the extent <laughs> that he himself engages in corruption, he has emboldened his appointees to engage in corruption with boldness, with impunity. And that is what is beginning to rear its heads in all, almost all our state institutions. Because you see, the only way you deal with corruption is by punishing those who engage in corruption and by putting systems in place to ensure that corruption becomes a very difficult and a very expensive you know, venture. We are not punishing those who engage in corruption. If we were, Payo Sajide would not be in this studio with me having been involved in the Australian Vessel Force scandal. You see, if we were, Charles B.C. would not be walking the streets of Ghana as a free man. If we were, Tiwa Dodankwa you know would have been answering have been questions hired. in the court of competent jurisdiction. If we were, the likes of the NLA boss, the likes of the Ghana Maritime Authority boss, and all Alfred Obey, the officials of boss who have been engaging several, several corruption scandals will not be walking the streets of Ghana free. But because the president has cleared them they were investigated and his action. And cleared. Give me one example. Pio C. Teddy was investigated. By who? An investigative team was set up. Please, 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 please. Ignorance. You see, Pius, you, you see, you promise not you see, to you see when we do these things, yes. eh, when we do these things, eh, what we do is that we encourage corrupt officials to, to, to entrench themselves in corruption. That is what we do. You cannot tell me that that self-serving so-called investigation by the CID 
is anything to go by. In any case, in any case, in any case, who doesn't know mm -hmm. that that whole thing was a charade to whitewash him, just as was done in the case of Alfred Obey and in the case of all the other corruption cases we have seen. So this gentleman you mentioned mm -hmm. is only emulating the bad examples of President Tekufuado himself, who has himself engaged in corruption in the Mary Mitellinius deal by giving concurrent approval to a deal which was bloated by an okay. amount of over $800 million. He is emulating the bad the example. Hold on. Hold on. Exactly. I, I, oh, let me just end, wrap up in five seconds. In five seconds. Hold, sure. on, hold on, in five seconds. He's emulating all these, um, uh, these, these, these bad examples. And so until President Ekufuado, until President Ekufuado begin to keep his promise of fighting corruption, punishing those who engage in corruption, you know, ensuring that people are prosecuted and all that. We will not achieve mm -hmm. the needed well, deterrence, you, yes, you know, to discourage some of these as corruption will continue thriving. Discussing and that is why the Afro barometer says that today 53% of the Ghana is corruption discussing. is on the ascendance. Uh, yes, I'm, I'm saying that. He can talk. When we are discussing such serious matters, I expect more and not irresponsible. I didn't insult you. So I was not. I'm not insulting you. You have, you have used worse words. And I You've been accusing people of please, corruption. Please, I only please, accuse you of please. corruption based uh, on facts. Hold on. You can sue me. If can you you allow him to agree. make his point. I don't waste time on you. No, but so where's I mean, like a better no, 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 for no, me? No, no, I'm, I'm, I'm going to make the point again. That if I say you are corrupted, you are not corrupt. The platform, the platform, is bigger than irresponsible, unsubstantiated allegations thrown about in the air. But just two quick things before I get to the main issue. Mm. We are standing, sitting here, Sami Jemfi is accusing the Electoral Commission of lying and everybody else. Even right here on this program, he's been fact-checked. He is not a liar. He's been fact-checked. Several times, you have had to intervene and point out the facts. Have I told a single lie? Right now, about, about, the cost, about the cost of the... Which the, I explained the, to him. I'm saying that even now, you're being fact-checked. So between you have and I told a single lie on the side. Sammy, hold on, hold on, please, hold on. would you hold take on. control? I cannot sit here for you I, to. I, I would like to listen continue. to you. Continue. 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 If you want to do this, I, I, I can do worse than you are doing. Please. Please. You continue. I don't, I don't, I don't bring the, the indiscipline to everybody. Because platform. I have not told a single lie. You have. And he knows. And I'm saying that you have been fact checked. But you are not a liar. You are calling statements. everybody else a liar. That but you are not a liar. She agreed to compile a new register. She then, came back apologizing. Oh, hold on. What is this? Let is the Electoral Commission supposed to Let him make his point. We'll get back are they infallible? What is this? Hold on, Sammy. Pius, go ahead. They have admitted to so many so, errors. So, 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 for me, so for me, the people would tell the difference as to who should be believed, as to who is trustworthy, as to who has the institutional memory and records. If the people want to listen to Sami Jemfi, rather than the Electoral Commission and their officers in the Electoral Commission that have preceded the, the, the nomination appointment of um, uh, Madame Jean Mensah and co. But they are still at post. The technical IT experts who are speaking, they are neither MPP nor NDC. They are just doing their job. Who? The accounts people at the Electoral Commission who are putting the figures together. They are neither. Uh, they were neither appointed by have President Akufuado and so on and so forth. They, but they have been speaking. And so, please, the people of Ghana will make a choice as to who wants to speak. Please, 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 can you please. be responsible and disciplined for once? What is who this? Speaking? What is this? Is this the kind of thing you are promising the people of Ghana? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Sami, Sami. I mean, it's a harmless question. Please, I just I need know. a name. Are you the host please. of the program? At, at least you know uh, Dr. Shoh, who is director of the no problem. has no. spoken on all of this. Go ahead. No. So, you are not helping him. No. He didn't know. Look at this. I'm not going to engage you, Sami. Continue. And I'm saying that. On the matter of this Take it corruption, easy. Why please, this Sammy, can you be, can right. you discipline Sammy, yourself? No what, is this? what is this? What is this? Go ahead. I mean, this is why people abuse you on all, all the times when you go to studios. You remember abuse the slap you, you enjoyed the other times? When why they you? get frustrated. No, don't, don't do when that. When I was speaking, you heckled me. I didn't heckle you. I didn't heckle you. You want to do it? No, but don't do that. You are saying something like that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Even the host is trying to put you question. I don't need it. I don't need it. Allow him to do his work. I don't need it. He has been trying to control you. You wouldn't even allow yourself to be controlled. Please. Very indisciplined. Oh, you, you corrected me and I said, okay. Yes. Very okay. indisciplined. Why, why, why are you insulting me? Because I'm pointing it out to you that you your make attitude your is indisciplined. You speak Pius. to the issue make on the table and stop so, insulting. You see, and I'm saying that we are discussing corruption, I would have thought that the alternative, the people who claim that they are an alternative, they would have appreciated this matter in a nationalistic matter, manner and uh, pro provided solutions. What does he do? He goes on uh, an allegation throwing ramp uh, rampage, unsubstantiated, the president. 
mere allegations, if that were the case, then Mr. Mahama would lack any moral authority. The man who couldn't answer the simple question, have you been corrupt? Have you taken a bribe? Simple, direct he question. He said that in this life or in the last life. No, he said as, as a person, as a president. It doesn't matter whether it you have... But, it is, but I'm, yes, that's, that's what it is. No, I'm saying that you were asked a simple, direct question. Have you taken bribes? The, the straight answer is a yes or no. What, what do you mean as president? So in, the, you know, in your other life as minister or as MP, that one, it is fine to take bribes? Is that the impression? He said he had not taken. So, so you should have answered, the, the, you you should have answered the question straightforward. In any case, this same, this same uh, Mr. Mahama was accused of accepting bribe from uh, the contractor from Burkina Faso, Mr. Kanazui. So the, mayor, the fact that an allegation was made meant that Mr. Mahama was corrupt. In fact, there were rumors that the, Mr. Mahama as vice president was being investigated by his president before he died mysteriously. <laughs> so the fact, that, the fact that an allegation of impropriety, embezzlement, corruption involving the, the, the military war from Brazil was made. So it means that Mr. Mahama is corrupt. Sami Jemfi here, as we speak now, he's under investigation by the police. The fact that an allegation Me. has been made, yes. By who? Criminal investigations by the police. <laughs> you, Sami Jemfi. You have so failed, the fact you have failed to call so that, that, so that, 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 Why? I thought you were invited. You are, you are, you are your a NDC joke. party are, mobilized to go and support you. Please, please, please. I'm not giving you advice. When you're speaking to me, you show Sammy me respect. Like I you, you, you show the point to your left hand on the I will, I will, I will show you. I am speaking okay. to the host. No, no, and you are done with your time. No, I'm okay. not done. So you are not in charge. You've been complaining yeah. to the host, so gentlemen. I'm, I'm actually told. I'm, I'm told our time is up. But when you allowed him to have no, no, no. You have, you had your time also. To do what? Your microphone is off at this point, and and that's why you had an additional minute. You spoke for six minutes, and he spoke for five minutes. You spoke for six minutes, files. So no, I check the time. Check the check. Check the time. Uh, your microphones are off, um, Sami Jinfi and Pyozana Majide. Uh, that'll be all for news to carry you, you yeah, on New Day.